The longest serving district attorney in New Orleans history has died. Harry Connick Sr. passed away this afternoon at home, surrounded by his family after a long illness. We look back at his life and impact. to Harry Connick Sr. to turn a birthday celebration into a headline. He turned 76 in 2002 by breaking news. It means that after January the 10th of 2003, I will no longer be doing what I like best to do. And that is being the district attorney of this good city. Connick stepped before the cameras, as he had done so many times before, to say he was ending a 29-year run as Orleans Parish District Attorney. He took the job in 1974 after defeating DA Jim Garrison. The new DA was popular and personable, and by the nature of his job, earned supporters and critics. And I think now we'll make some progress in our battle against crime and the criminal. Though he was re-elected five times, Connick's legacy is tainted by the allegations of misconduct on the part of several of his prosecutors that sent innocent people to prison or even death row. And in a city that's ranked among the most violent in the country, Connick often faced criticism for how his office handled cases. Defense attorneys blasted him for not taking plea bargains. Connick used that as a campaign tool. He gets my vote. That said, he's the best guy for the job. Re-elect Harry Connick, district attorney. He was also bold and brash when it came to the needs of his office. And he didn't hold back when it came to the judges at Tulane and Broad. Why would you reverse the conviction of a guilty man? Wasn't there enough evidence? Didn't he confess to that? Didn't he show you where the gun was? Connick can claim to have mentored nearly a dozen people who served on the bench at criminal court, but worked in his office first. But there's little doubt he was most proud of the person who shared his name and his love for music, his son, Harry Connick Jr. Once his son's fame exploded in the 1990s, it gave his father a reason to pick up the mic, too. I think it's time. I think my bones are telling me it's time. Maybe, to, <laughs> maybe it's time to, uh, to quit. And he said, it's not your bones, it's your voice. <laughs> me, 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 meaning, of course, that, that uh, I have a job singing with him. <laughs> For Harry Connick Sr., it was the final act of a career marked by longevity and a love for what he did, even if that put him in the center of controversy. Harry Connick Sr. was 97 years old. Funeral arrangements are still being made. This evening, current DA Jason Williams released a statement saying in part, quote, such a longstanding public servant gives an enormous amount of themselves to their community, as do their families. Our thoughts are with the Connick family during this difficult time.